Alright guys, so I have always been a big fan of like top 10 lists, you know, like compiled lists of, like who's your favorite champion, who's this, who's your, who's your favorite movie, you know, like just those kind of lists, you know, I've always been a fan of those, I've always liked watching top 10 lists on YouTube of like Fortnite stuff, of like Call of Duty stuff, of just movie stuff, Avenger stuff, DC stuff, comic book stuff, like all kinds of stuff, you know, like top 10 lists are, are cool, man, I really enjoy watching them, you know, I've always wanted to make them, so I... I'm gonna do it, you know. Like, hope. Let me know you guys' feedback. Uh, if you want to see more types of top ten lists, uh, suggestions for other top ten lists. Um, and today's, we're gonna be talking about the top ten champions that I want to see as six stars. So every champion on this list right here are currently not in the six star featured pool or the six star basic pool. Um, there is going to be a new six star basic pool soon, which should feature some new champions. Uh, like new six star champions um not like not like uh like a new not like captain america like he's gonna be in there like new captain america's gonna be in there but like champions that's older champions that have not been six stars yet so that's gonna be what this list is all about um like champions um like maybe that aren't even five stars that come six stars there's some of those on this list uh so let's just get into it guys um and i i think like if you guys you want to see more of this the, the one we could do is just the opposite of this 10 champions that i don't want to see as six stars so like 10 bad champions uh because i've been thinking of some champions there or maybe not just bad ones just some champions that i would not want to see as six stars for maybe like defensive purposes or something like along those lines but yeah guys let me know feedback is appreciated uh but let's get into it so coming in at the number 10 spot we have gwenpool so gwenpool man uh, this is tough for this top 10 spot it was between her and psylocke and she just beat out Psylocke because I feel like Gwenpool, you know, as soon as uh, Blade came out, she just got way overshadowed and uh, her usability uh, in the game just went down. Because basically she was the best skill champ in the game by far before uh, Blade. And then when Blade came out, it kind of just blew her out of the water. And like no one really cares that much about Gwenpool anymore. The spotlight's been on Blade. So, you know, seeing Gwenpool come back as a six star would be cool. Uh, that damage is 6 star would be very nice, and uh, yeah, it's all around good champion, you know? I like Gwenpool. Uh, coming in at the number 9 spot, we have Quake. So, the pilot's favorite champion, um, uh, Quake, man. Quake's a cool champ. Um, she, she's just, I just really like Quake because she has such a high skill gap um, to play Quake style. And I mean, you can learn it and you can get good at it. And I think it's just a really cool way to play the game, an alternative style of your regular five hit combos. And it just rewards skill. So I, I think Quake would be cool to see as a six star. Um, that damage output would be crazy, man. If you start ranking up a Quake to like a rank three six star, oh my goodness, man. That'd be sick. Uh, things you could do with her in Alliance War. But uh, yeah, man, Quake, definitely one of my favorites. You know, I love Quake in the MCU and Marvel's Age of Shield. Such a sick character, man. Such cool powers. Just Quake's awesome. Um, so yeah, coming in at number eight, we have Hyperion. So Hyperion, man, I've seen, like, you know, I wasn't. When Hyperion first came out, I was so hyped about him. I was like, he's like almost as good as Thor, you know, like he's awesome. And then Thor got nerfed, and then everyone hopped on the Hyperion train, and I kind of just hopped off. I'm like, yeah, Hyperion's all right. Like, I, I had him since he came out, you know. So, he just... Eh. And then, you know, I, I, I was like, yeah, Hyperion's good. But, you know, even after Thor was nerfed, I'm like, I still like Thor, you know, he's cool. Because uh, I finally had gotten him as a four-star. Uh, and then I started seeing, like, rank five, five-star Hyperion gameplay. And oh my god, that just put me back on the hype train for Hyperion, man. He is sick as a rank 5. I've seen him fight Medusa bosses as a rank 5. Just some crazy stuff, man. Like, the thing about I like about Hyperion the most is probably just the different ways you can play him. And the way I really like to play him, uh, in certain situ situations, spam the L1. Spam the crap out of the L1. Stack those incinerates. And if you have a 6-star Hyperion, man, those incinerates are going to be doing so much damage. Your Furies are going to let your basic hit attacks do so much. It's just sick, man. So I would love to see a 6-star Hyperion. Uh, coming in at number 7, champion that I think is uh, quite underrated. I, I, Mephisto has been growing on me, man. I've been bringing him to Alliance Quests, map 6. Wow, uh, I was originally, I, I've never really taken the poison path in map 6, uh, and I didn't even know I was taking it, but I was taking just my normal team. I was like, oh crap, I have the poison path, and I'm like, well, I brought Mephisto, and the man just 
phenomenal for it. His regen is insane. I, I want a five star Mephisto so badly. Don't even get me started on a six star Mephisto, man. That would be awesome. And uh, the thing I, about Mephisto is like I don't even think he's that bad on defense, uh, especially with a lot of people having Blade. Um, and I don't know, Void's also really good counter him. I don't know. I, I just I don't see him. I like him on offense. That's why I really want to see him as a, a, a six star uh, for that offensive purpose. Uh, coming in at number six now. This one's probably gonna be a little controversial. Some people probably don't want to see Iceman as a six star, but again, I want to see him at. I'm the reason he's on here for me is for offensive purposes. Um, and the thing about Iceman as a six star, uh, for for defense, if like people worrying about him being a defender, first of all, it's gonna be very difficult to awaken an Iceman uh, as a six star. And even if you do get him awakened, uh. Don't even get me started on the signature stones for six stars. Signature stones for five stars are still difficult. In my all my time playing this game, I don't even have a hundred mutant sig stones for five stars. So I mean, getting six star uh, signature stones, man, are going to be pff, crazy hard. Uh, so I don't think Iceman would be that bad in defense, at least for a long time. And once we get to that long time, uh, there's going to be so many more champions to counter him. Just look at two of the last champions that came out. Bishop and Sabretooth, and they are both phenomenal counters to Iceman, so we're only going to be getting more counters. Uh, so yeah, that's why I put Iceman up here. That's my reasoning, my defense for him. So uh, yeah, and I just love Iceman. I think he's one of the best champions of the game, especially for offense. On our, like Alliance War Attack, it's so good. I <sighs> love Iceman. I want him so bad. Uh, coming in as a number five is Ghost Rider. So one of the members of the Holy Trinity, and definitely the weakest, I'd say. I'd say Blade and Stark Spidey are definitely better than Ghost Rider, mainly for, like, Alliance War attack. Uh, like, you like you bring Ghost Rider, but you mainly bring him for synergies. Uh, uh, Ghost Rider is better than Stark Spidey in AQ, of course, and I, I'd say he's better than Blade as well in Alliance Quest. Uh, Ghost Rider is just the king of Alliance Quest, man. Such a good champ, and I think just having him as a six-star would really make him better because his attack is going to be better um that fury that you can get is going to be even way better like ranking up ghost rider would be awesome man i'd, I'd love to see him as a six star um such a sick champ uh yeah i love ghosty uh coming in at number four a champion that does not get much love anymore and i'm giving him some love on this list man alt or vision age of ultron uh you know now having, I was thinking about putting uh, OG Ultron on the list, but then I'm like, do I want to play pay 50,000 units for an OG Vision? Not really, so I'm not going to put him on the list, because he's probably going to cost a crap ton of units when he comes. Um, but yeah, this Vision man, he's not available as a 5 star, so I think it's definitely time we get to see him uh, come back into just viabilityness of in the in the game uh, i think vision could be a good alliance war attacker as a six star for sure man just having those immunities alone is so useful for bleeding poison paths especially when you, you need power control for those paths which vision is great for um vision is just awesome man he is awesome uh really hope to see him return as a five star or as a six star uh the man needs some love so coming in at number three it's another champion that we have not seen in the spotlight forever. OG Wolverine, man. This guy is a regeneration monster. Um, he's not available as a 5-star. Uh, X-23 is available as a 5-star, but regular Wolverine is not, man. And I would love to see this character brought back as a 5-star or a 6-star. Um, and, like, again, it's going to be very difficult to awaken this Wolverine. So, I mean, his regen is not going to be that overpowered until you, until you do awaken him. Uh, and again, signature stones uh, are going to be very hard to come by to really get that regen uh, as, at a high signature level. Um, so yeah, I really hope Kabam does bring this Wolverine back in some shape or form. But I don't know, man. Maybe they think that regen is a little too powerful. But my only problem with Wolverine uh, is his damage output. But as a 6-star man, his damage output would be insane. He'd have awesome bleeds. Uh, he'd just be such a great champion. Uh, I, I could... I, I, I don't know if I could see him using him in war because he would just feed me dispersion, but you could take him to different kind different kinds of fights where you don't need uh we're not fighting mystic champions. So I, I could see him useful, man. I could see him useful even in war. Um coming in at the number two spot, guys. My favorite champion in the game. Stark Spider Man. Uh unfortunately I didn't put him at number one just because there is a champion that I want just a 
tiny bit more as a six star. Um, but man, I, I want Spider Man so badly as a six star. This guy, I think he he's in the top three best champions in the game. Personally, he's my personal favorite. If I could only have one champion in the whole game, it would be Stark Spider Man. Uh, he's just so awesome, dude. I, he's, he never fails me. He always has my back. Uh, I'm so comfortable intercepting with him. I'm so comfortable. F power fights so I have to control power with him uh, those taunts are just insane and you always have the power drain back up on, on the heavy don't even get me started on the damage output this man's crits are just mind-blowing that L2 uh, if, if all three crits man you're gonna finish off any regular attack and war by the time you get that L2 even a lot of mini bosses if you're critting uh, and if they're a robot that shock is just going to deal a ton of damage such a great champion. But guys, without further ado, let's get to the number one spot on the list. Let me know your guys' guesses right now. Who do you think this is? Who? Who, who do you think this is? Coming in at number one, I'm sure a lot of you guys guessed it, Blade. Blade is just, like, just kidding. Blade is not on this number one spot. I had to mess with you guys. I'm sure some of you are thinking Blade. If you were, I was gonna say you got kabammed, but this, is, this isn't a kabam beast. You got legacied. Uh, it's Scarlet Witch, man. I want to see Scarlet Witch come back, dude. I miss her. I got through so much content with her at the start of the game. Uh, like, the reason I was so good at intercepting with magic, like, at first, like, when I first started using magic, like, back, like, the Batista challenge, after I, I pulled her, like, right after that, that's when I first pulled magic. Of course, after the challenge I, I would have needed her for. Um, that's, when, as soon as I started using her, I could intercept with her right away. Just because I had been so used to Scarlet Witch and just playing with her, man, I, I took down I took down half Realm Legends with the three star Scarlet Witch back in the day, practicing, just getting ready for when I pulled that four star. And once I did pull that four star, man, I remember uh, like when Dormammu first came out, his event quest. That one was a hard one, uh, but not with me and my Scarlet Witch, man. We just blew through that. Like, oh, could take down anything with her, but she she did get nerfed. Uh, just fair she was probably a little too powerful but i think it's time for her to come back uh if even if they only brought her back as a five star i'd be fine with that if they did bring her back as a six star that'd be awesome um yeah i, I want to see her back though man i miss her uh and also like she needs a high signature level to be good again it's gonna be a struggle getting those sigs into her uh it's a six star so come on bam just, just release her also, she needs to be awakened to even be decent. Well, she's okay on awakened. That L2 can still hit kind of hard. But awakened, man, that L2 is going to be hitting so hard. Oh, I cannot imagine that damage output. Um, but, yeah, she needs to be awakened to be get really good. Uh, and, again, that's going to be hard to do. So I hope Kabam releases her in some fashion. Um, but, guys, I do have some honorable mentions. Uh, so let's go. To, oh, let's hop over to those. Let's do the honorable mentions. You know, at the top... Deadpool. I, I would love a Deadpool just as a four star man. I have been waiting since I started playing this game. Uh, like the, the offers, the Deadpool offers. I bought the three star one right when I started. I was like, nice. I got a cool, strong three star champion. Um, and then I bought the two star one as well. I don't. I don't really know why. Why not? Uh, another champion added to the to the roster. Um, I don't regret. I'm glad I have them both now, uh, and I've just been waiting for the Deadpool arena. I've just been sitting here waiting. <laughs> like uh, the Deadpool movie came out in January of the year I started playing. I started playing in October, uh, and then people were speculating that January uh, for 20. I don't know the, the, the next the one year after the first Deadpool movie came out that the Deadpool arena would return. Never did. I have been waiting and waiting for it to come back, growing my roster so that I could just grind for this guy. And still nothing. I, I hope for the Deadpool 2, we see him come back in some shape or form. Um, and if he is released as a 6 star, that'd be awesome. Um, I talked about Thor a little bit in this video. Like I, I, I didn't get my hands on Thor as a 4 star before uh, he was nerfed, but I got him after he was nerfed, and I still enjoyed him. I still enjoy playing him today. He's just a cool champ, so I have him as a 6 star. Uh, I wouldn't be mad pulling this six star. And lastly, Doctor Strange. You know, Doctor Strange used to be one of my favorite champions in the game by far. I remember when the Doctor Strange movie came out, there was a special Doctor Strange crystal. It was a thousand units for one. Um, and then I think it was like 3,000 units. Or, or I don't know, it was more units for more, more of the same crystal. But, you know, there's a decent chance. It's like an ultimate Doctor Strange crystal where you're getting three star or four star. And the first one, I got a four star. And 
I was just so hyped, man. And then I, I ended up, once Doctor Strange came to Arena, I was in the beginner bracket. I grinded for him um, both rounds. And on the first round, I actually placed number one in the in the in the bracket it was my first time in the intermediate bracket i put up three million points uh back then that was a ton, ton for me i had been only playing for 30 days three million points that's all i could do man uh and i scored number one i still have that screenshot the only time i placed number one in arena i guess pretty cool but uh, yeah i'd love to see him come back he did get nerfed hard but he's been buffed with some synergies he's i think he's okay now as a six star i think he'd be all right i wouldn't mind pulling him as a six star um, but yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Please give me your feedback. Uh, if you would like to see more of the top 10 lists, uh, please let me know if you have ideas for top 10 lists. Go ahead, give me any suggestions you guys wish. Um, and yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching it. Let me know the one champion that you want, uh, add as a star the most and that you want to pull the most. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Peace out.